you see that satellite right there? That one that I'm pointing at. Yeah, those are the satellites that we use for GPS. <laughs> Everybody's a comedian. Yes, we would like auto steering. You think I'm gonna drive this thing by myself? There's a little more to it than what you might think. I am really glad you guys asked that question. How do farmers make such incredibly straight lines in their fields. Right now, we're gonna talk about it. First, let's talk about GPS, right? It's a positioning system. It uses multiple satellites to give you a position on the ground, kind of like your cell phone or your GPS in your car. It tells you where to go. Only in agriculture, things need to be much more precise, much more accurate. And we use a special set of satellites to give us that accuracy. And in my case here, I'm using something called Centerpoint RTK, which is the highest level of accuracy that you can get today. And that is sub-inch year to year. So what does sub-inch and year to year mean? So that I can create a line or a boundary in a field or a point. I can drive on that line within an inch of that line. Okay, that's that sub-inch accuracy, but I can also do it year to year. And there's different levels of accuracy that you can purchase. Everything needs to be <coughs> unlocked and so on and so forth. So how does center point RTK become so so accurate. Well, not only do we use special receivers and uh, special signals, we also have to triangulate that with something else, like a known fixed position on Earth. So, a lot of people will use base stations, they're called, and that's something you would set up on your field or on your farm, and that would be a known fixed position for that receiver in your tractor to triangulate the satellites that are in space. So, it gives us it gives us that third. That, so if we, we have the tractor, we have our satellites, and now we have one other point, so a fixed known point, and that will triangulate our position in the field year to year, pass to pass, very, very accurate. What do we need to do here in the tractor? Because you, you drive down the highway and you see these rows and they're just perfectly straight, and we don't just jump in here and go, oh, boop everything up oh, now it's driving itself you know there's a special type of knowledge you need to have an understanding you need to have of the setup of your equipment when it comes to the the auto guidance and the gps let's go over that in here i'm using trimble we're like i said we're on center point rtk on the roof we have a antenna trimble uses an internal receiver so we have an antenna on the roof or the globe like you would like people call it in this display we have the receiver and that receives the signal the antenna grabs the signal the receiver receives it and then the display will kind of decode it and then i can tell it what I want to do with it. So do I want to make a line? Do I want to make a heading? Do I want to make a curve? Do I want to make a boundary? Do I want to make a headland? And this is pretty standard across all manufacturers of, of guidance systems. So I just pulled into this field and we're going to plant with our box drill today. I already have this field mapped, but I'm going to remap it with you guys and we're going to go through it so you're going to understand exactly how this works for a farmer and have a little bit more understanding when you drive down the highway and see all those nice perfectly straight rows. There's a little more to it than what you might think. Okay, so there's multiple ways that we can go about this. We can do it right here in the tractor cab, uh, right as we plant. We can map our field out, make a boundary, make a headland and make an uh, AB line or the straight rows. We can pre uh, map it like without an implement behind us and that's something I do a lot especially with RTK I can drive around a field and make my straight lines and then save it into the computer and because this signal is so accurate when I come back to it everything is is perfectly where I mapped it the first time or you can use desktop software map it out with your desktop software transfer those files to your precision farming display that you have in your cab and you can use it that way. I tend to use on our farm, the, I pre-map a lot of things, and then when I just need to get a quick line or something like that, I'll, I'll snap my line in the field. Generally, I use headings. I like doing everything north, south, east, west. It makes things very simple for all the fields. And I use two headland passes. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna start from scratch. We're gonna end up going around the field twice, which is called the headland, and then we're gonna make our AB line or our infill, as you will see it on the computer here. 
and then we can start planting the rest of the field. So let's get to it. Okay, I am sorry about the glare. These systems uh, have a very shiny display screen, but they are very similar to a tablet. This is Android based. We're on the home screen here, and the first thing I'm gonna do is open a field. I need to tell it that we wanna start doing work. And before we do that, it's gonna to wanna to know what exactly are we pulling here? What tractor are we configured to? So I know that this is my display. <clears throat> this is the tractor right here that we are currently configured with. And this is the implement. And I can go through and just say, I'm, I'm gonna do something different. I have tons of implements I got in here. Select the one you want, hit okay. There's our implement, there's our measurements of that implement which are very important. And then we can move on to the next screen. We just hit okay. All right, we're gonna find our farm. And I know this one is our home farm and we call it the hill. The event for me today is not extremely important. So we're gonna skip over that. We're gonna hit okay. And it's gonna pull up this field. Yes, we would like auto steering. You think I'm gonna drive this thing by myself? Okay, we're gonna go and make a new headland right here. here. These are the different type of things I can do in this display currently. I'm going to select headland. Number of headlands is two. We're going to enable boundaries and the infill is going to start on the outer part of the boundary. So, yep, we want to do a new headland. It's going to tell me what I need to do here. Drive around the field, make sure we hit record, and make sure we make a infill. So, all right. Let's do it. All right, I'm just gonna get lined up. I'm actually gonna back into this corner so I can get myself a nice straight line for this field. And I also wanna make sure that I'm planting the entire field. So when I say satellites, how many satellites am I talking about? So what do you, what do you guys think? Like how many satellites do I need to make a signal right now? I have it pulled up here, so just think about that for a second. How many do you think that I'm grabbing right now from space? So currently I'm using nine satellites. I can go all the way up. I've, I've used 13, uh, 14 before, plus the cell, I use a cell signal for RTK. So it becomes very accurate, which begs the question, how many satellites for GPS positioning are actually up in space? So if you know that, why don't you drop a comment down below and educate everybody a little bit and, and me. The first thing I'm gonna do to start a headland is hit record. And so now when I hit record, I just recorded the, the exact GPS position that I'm in. And I can keep the record function on and I when I drive and all my little wiggles that I have, it's gonna record all those little wiggles. Or I can start here, hit record. I can stop recording right here. I don't even have to move. I can just hit record and then hit it again, which will record my position in this corner. I can drive to the other corner and then I can hit record again. And that's going to make a line from here to the next corner. And that line will be perfectly straight. And that's what we're going to do right now. So I just hit record and I'm going to hit it again. I'm also going to set my A point. And in order to get a straight line for planting, I need an A point and I need a B point. And those two points have to be a certain distance away so that the computer can use its algorithm to calculate a straight line between those two points. It's gonna give me a heading, get me a perfectly straight line. And then it's gonna calculate based on the implement we're pulling, the every single line after that. So when I turn around, I can just grab the line next to it and we can keep planting. So that's how that works. So we need an A point and a B point, or we need an A point plus an A plus heading. So there's something new I haven't talked about, an A plus heading. I can enter a heading in. So think of a compass, right? You think of north, south, east, west. East, west, it's backwards for me. Backwards for me. Okay, and those, those directions and everything in between all have a degree heading. So I like using the north, south, east, west. I could also, because I'm pointing north, I could type in a zero degree heading or directly north, and then it would give me a straight line from the moment I hit A, a plus heading, and it'll go straight north from there. So that's pretty cool. I use that one a lot, but today we're just gonna use an A and a B. We're gonna set A. I already have record, but we're gonna take that off. And it says we need to drive at least 40 feet. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just driving along here on the outside of this field. It is making a boundary for me. It is currently not recording my exact position, 
because I have the record function off, but I'm almost to this corner and I'm gonna hit record again. And I'm also gonna hit set B. So I'll have my B point and I'll have the straight edge of my field. So all those passes will line up with this edge of the field. It's kind of neat. So here's my corner. I'm gonna hit set B and then I'm gonna hit record. And because this is a gentle sweeping corner, I'm gonna leave record on and I am going to just gently turn. Now, as I'm doing this, it's recording every single uh, position that I'm in. So this curve will be able to be replicated on my next pass. Okay, and we're almost out of the woods here. And now I'm gonna take record off. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna do this and I'll get back with you guys here real quick. I'm back to where I started and I now need to tell the computer that we are done. So I'm gonna go back to headland and I'm gonna say close headland. And now it generated for me the number of headlands that I wanted and it generated my infill line called the AB line, which is that straight row, the straight rows that you guys see from the road. Here you can see there's my infill line 21 and headland 22. So we're gonna stay on that headland, we're gonna load it up again, and we're gonna plant our second round. I also wanna tell you that when you install one of these systems in a tractor like we have here, a lot of it is custom fit to the application and you don't just plug the computer in and everything just works so everything needs to be calibrated so that tractor needs a profile in this computer there's a series of calibrations that need to be run through that will give this computer some feedback on how the tractor steers how fast it, it can uh, turn back and forth um, how the gyroscopes that are in this controller back here are sitting what direction you're facing and then from there you can kind of get steering you know that steering valve you can really dial that in in that calibration process so uh, there's there's a lot more to it than just jumping in these tractors and hitting and go and and laying back and watching on YouTube so hopefully that enlightens somebody so because we went around the field once and recorded our boundary I can then go around the second time with auto guidance so that means the computer is steering the tractor for me based on the input that we gave it and I'm just sitting here basically overseeing everything here. We're going to turn here on this corner but I'll manually turn the machine around or turn it to the next pass. So I'm just coming up to the end of this field here and there's a nice uh, ground pile that I needed to drive around and I just want to show you how well the tractor steers around these gentle corners. If you can see the corner there. I am not touching the wheel. Okay, so we just completed our second headland pass. Go back into swath. I'm gonna select our straight line and you can see it's a 1.3 degree heading, which is fine for this uh, demonstration. And we're gonna load it. Now from here on, it will calculate every single pass for me as I plant throughout this field. So now I just need to turn around on the ends. I'm gonna hit my auto guidance button, which is the steering wheel symbol here, and that will get me in auto guidance mode. So here we go. And then I can spend more time operating this machine, specifically this planter. So what are some of the benefits of auto guidance and GPS positioning and all this fancy RTK stuff? As an operator, I feel like you can operate longer throughout the day there's less visual stress on your eye on your eyes and trying to control a tractor nice and straight especially nowadays with larger machinery a lot more going on electronically hydraulically um, I'm able to operate much more efficiently for much longer uh, that would be probably my biggest um, thumbs up there as far as agriculture in general there's so much more in there's so much more to GPS systems, I mean soil sampling, variable rate planting, variable rate fertilizer, um, water surface drainage, subsurface drainage, all of that stuff has something to do with a GPS system. So more than likely, most farmers in your area have some sort of uh, global positioning system on their farm. Okay, I turned around. 
I uh, get close to the very next line and I can hit my auto guidance button and it will take control. And we're back planting. Pretty straightforward. All right, so we're coming up to the end of this pass here and I'm just gonna show you guys how we turn around and grab a next line and go nice and straight. So if you heard those beeps, that is the system warning me that we're to the end of the row. So I'm gonna stop and pick up my implement. I just turned the tractor. And now you can see it just picked up this red line and that's the one if I hit my auto steer button and there's my double beep. And that's the line that it's gonna go onto. The green arrow means that I'm engaged. The tractor is lining itself up for the next pass. You can see the passes I've already made. We're gonna put our implement down and we're gonna keep on trucking along. I hope you guys learned something today that it's not quite as easy as jumping in these tractors and just hitting a button and going. There's a lot more involved. And when you see some really straight rows, you can appreciate the work and technology that goes into something like that. So. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you found any of this somewhat educational or somewhat of value, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe, right? I don't ever do that on our channel, on this channel, but if you found it educational or valuable and you wanna hear more content like this, that's gonna give me some feedback. That's gonna tell me, hey, people wanna hear more of that stuff and not that stuff. So anyway, that would be helpful. So I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.